Hi, I'm Dave from Push Guiding, and this is my first session on the Duotone 2019 click bar, and it's just perfect for jumping off the wall, so here we go. I'm Dave from Duotone Kite. Ollie, t shirt. Duotone Kiteboarding UK. And I'm going to show you all about the 2018 click bar, how to attach the fifth line, how to attach the chicken loop, and get you all set up for riding. Ollie, hat. 2019 dummy. So, first of all, we're going to need our 2019 click bar. Ollie. Boom. Duotone click bar. Um, four line setup. We're going to add the fifth line later doesn't come with the chicken looper standard we're going to add those so I've gone for the freestyle chicken loop and leash Ollie hit me brilliant and then also yeah we'll add on the fifth line as uh, as we're rounding up later Ow! <laughs> why would you do that <laughs> hey you were told we yeah. had a little problem with the shorts it's not a problem it's just a solution waiting to happen there we go Done. Like it never existed. Gone. Sweet. There you go. So, for the click bar, really nice bag that it comes in as well. Get this all out. And we've got some information about our V distributor. So, this is the V distributor. Um, these are really good uh, for keeping all the lines in check, and it runs the fifth line um, or the yeah, whichever safety line you're using straight through. You actually move this up and down the line by undoing this top here and you get a spare top in the bag as well. Oh, is that new for this year's bar? Um, you got it on last year's bar as well and there was similar on the first click bar too. Um, this, oh, it's this always year the and click last bar. Year. Yeah, always the click bar. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, and it's a really nice way to um, just move that V split up and down. This is the chicken loop. And here we have our chicken finger. A donkey dick. <laughs> I had someone on the phone today um, who was asking me about buying some kites. And he was like, um, and does the, your, the chicken loop come with a, um, um, that thing? Um, the, um, donkey dick. <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's the, it's the actual name for it, it's fine. Um, but chicken finger's the family friendly version. Um, or chicken stick. Uh, so now we're gonna pop, pop that onto the chicken loop now. Um, and that's ready to go. Then we can reveal our chicken loop or our quick release. Get all the newness out. Yeah, newness is gone. So this has got to be done every time, right? <laughs> every time you get a new bar. Yeah, when you get a new bar, because then there's four different types of loop you can get. You can either get the, the metal in case loop, which is for the sliding rope. Um, and that stops the wear on the, the, the sliding rope. rope. What sliding rope? So if you have a harness, oh, um, the, like the right engines. The rope, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right engines and the north, uh, the new Duotone, um, yeah, the new Duotone uh, Carbon Series 15 harness has oh, a rope okay. and a spreader bar, cool. and you can decide which one you're going to use each time. Um, so yeah, if you're going to have a rope harness like that, then you get the rope attachment, um, or you can get a small um, free ride chicken loop medium freestyle or you can get a wake style much larger chicken loop um, and they each come with the the appropriate style leash as well so the um, you get the mini leash with the free ride and the rope harness because you're not going on a hook um, and you get the uh, the handlebar leash with the freestyle and the wake style um, chicken loop dropping knowledge bombs dave mm, all over the place on the day um, so to set your chicken loop up, once you've selected which one you want, oh, look at that sliding action. That's smooth. That is. Uh, get a zoom in on that. That's the nice thing about that. It's like ceramic. If you get a shot of that as well. The ceramic bearings. So to get it all rigged up, what do we need to do? So we first of all pop the safety. And that holds the top half of the safety, the quick release, in the open position. We can turn that round and can you see there's the little Allen key position here. Let me have a little zoom. So then we get our FCS fin, fin key and we're just going to pop that in there 
and unscrew. 64 minutes later, <laughs> you're done. That is unscrewed enough, so none of the screw is now sticking out in that bottom section there. And we can take our chicken loop with the donkey dick attached, chicken finger attached, and slide that in. So when we slide that in, that screw is going to screw back in place inside and lock it in. Okay, so I'll slide that in there now. So now that's plugged in, then we just pop the fin key or the screw back in. So that is all clicked in. That's our safety all set up, ready to go. Happy days. Now we shall just add the fifth line. Well, that was pretty quick. Nice and easy. Yeah. Whoa, the wind's yeah, picking up. Wind is coming in. Let's get this See you later, Dave. Bye. I'm going home. I'm not going home. I'm going clean. Yeah. So, uh, to add the fifth line, what we need to do is fully lay the lines out and separate them. You've probably done this before, so I'm not going to show you every last little bit of this. Um, what I might do is just quickly slide off the V distributor. You're a V distributor. I am. It's almost like <laughs> you've run out of lines a few times before. Dave is. Dying? Dying today, little slowly. A little bit slowly. dying, but a nasty ass cold. So this is the V distributor. So from here, the lines will split in a V, V line, um, all the way up to the kite. Um, and you can move that up and down, up and down, depending on your kite and whichever V line split is gonna suit that best. Um, however, because I use a, a line mounted camera and I have it right down the end, I actually take this off, which isn't recommended, um, but it works very well. Okay, so the V distributor gets up to where we go from the leader line onto the grey flying line. Um, and it can't go any further because that line is too thick. So all you have to do is slip this line out, fully detach it, that will pop out and then you can reattach that line again. Yeah. So you are going fifth line this year again? Um, yeah, going fifth line when I'm filming the GoPro. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because the GoPro, um, the cam rig GoPro mount um, locks off the um, the two front lines. <laughs> um, You're a front line. Yeah. <laughs> I am a front line. You're a follower. I'm the leader. And then that can go back in the bag as well. Oh, right. I don't actually know what it's used for, but it's, oh, right. it comes in all the bags. So I presume it's there for something. Hey, how you doing? So now we've got the the uh, fifth line here, and interestingly. When you get this fifth line attachment um, for your click line bar, this isn't the fifth line. Um, I mean, I meant to be in this pose. Um, That's not a fifth line, but it is a fifth line. It's, you buy it as a fifth line pack, oh, right. but it doesn't actually attach to your bar as a fifth line. Um, <coughs> your safety line, which was this this line here, which runs all the way through your bar once you when you pull the quick release. Um, this was on your left front line. Um, before um, that now shifts over to be your center line and this takes the place of the left front line mind blown yeah I am um, I stopped listening sweet okay as long, Sorry. As, as long as you're still recording it's fine and my attention span is terrible it's like four and a half milliseconds <laughs> yeah it's not good so Ollie, could you run that out for but me? not that's it so you're going to run that out and then once you get to the end, um, grab the line and then run it all the way to the top of the line and bring it all the way back here. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to push you over again, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> go, go, go. Go, go, go. So we've just run out the, the fifth line pack, fifth line attachment. Um, we've run the line all the way out and brought the end back here because now what we do to attach this is simply come down here and take the end, put the end through. And then the top of the line, top of the line to your top of the line. Slip that through, and then well, if you could run that 24 meters out again, that'd be lovely. <laughs> okay, and that is our fifth line attached. So we've just added our new line here, and how that would run the lines out is this is now your front left line. The existing grey line is our front right hand line and our uh, red safety line here that goes up to the blue line 
is now running through the center. So we're going to separate these all the way down and I'll just show you what we do at the other end uh, to finalize that. So we end up now with what was our front left line having the red connector on, on it, um, which is fine because the blue connector is the same length. But to make sure you don't get any, um, or have any mishaps, any confusion, we take that red attachment point off and we put on the blue attachment which links to the blue safety attachment on all of the duotone kites um, and all of the previous north kites as well. Um, on all of the north kites you could ride them as five line um, and all of the ones that are four line compatible you had the, uh, the tuck away fifth line pocket so you could put that away or if we uh, want to we can take it out and attach it to the fifth line. And that is now all done. driving past on talking. How dare they? How very dare This is Frinton. Cool, so lines all rigged up, fifth line on. Yep, fifth line on. And the reason I use a five line system is one for ultra light wind flying from hydrofoiling especially. Then I can pull the fifth line and that will tip the kite over and let it relaunch a lot easier. So yeah, much easier relaunch in light wind. Um, but easy relaunch but easy relaunch on any given day. Also, if I'm using <laughs> like the noisiest car in the world. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks, man. Just what we needed. Yeah. Um, also, if I'm using a cam rig line mount for my GoPro, um, that locks off the front two lines if I put all the stoppers in. Um, and having the fifth line means that you can still have a perfectly running safety. There's just cars everywhere. Why do I bother? Oh, yeah, the noise Dave is out. crazy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that guys, that's the full setup of the 2019 Duotone click bar and the same applies to the 2018 North click bar as well. Here's a couple more clips of us using the bar straight after we got it set up. If you like this video feel free to subscribe, like, comment below and consider supporting the channel via the Patreon link where you can suggest more videos for us to make about the equipment we use or tutorial videos about tricks and tips for your kiting. Thanks for watching guys, catch you next time.